Being a Time Lord can be a lonely existence. Travelling through all of space and time, saving humanity now and again, playing the recorder or the guitar when you get bored. Which is why every good doctor needs a firm but friendly companion to keep him company and keep him on the straight and narrow as he bounces around through time and space. But being a companion isn't easy. It's a whole list of things you have to do. For example, asking all the questions, throwing an awestruck wonder at everything, twisting ankles, screaming, telling the doctor he's wrong, wandering off, hitting Daleks with baseball bats, having timey-wimey babies, dying, not dying, and generally making the doctor a better person. And that's not to mention the bonkers family life you've left behind. To find out how best to manage life aboard the TARDIS, we spoke to current companion Clara, AKA Jenna Coleman. What's been your most memorable moment on the programme so far? Oh my goodness, there are so many. There are so many in um, and out of the show. I think the World Tour was obviously quite a huge, a huge moment for the show. The 50th, Tom Baker coming on set, big moment. Um, for me, a big defining moment is always the, the TARDIS on the clouds um, and the spiral staircase. That image for me is quite a striking, strong, and uh, one that's close to the heart. Clara and the Doctor's relationship is a complex one, with the two of them sometimes at odds with one another. How do you view this relationship? I view it as an unlikely relationship, which I really like, because you kind of wouldn't put the two together, yet in a way they're so similar and they connect on a certain level, yet they aren't afraid to challenge each other, to not get on, to kind of call each other out, yet they're, they're, they're so bonded. So it's not, it's a really, it's a really complicated relationship, but a really deep one, I think. You know, it can be fatherly daughterly at times. It, it can be her with dealing with a toddler at other times. They're, they're equal, on the equal level friends. You know, it's her being the social mediator for him. It's, it's him kind of reining her in as well. So it, it's, a, it's a wonderfully strange and charming relationship, mm. I think. How do you feel when people cosplay Clara? And also, um, when you see outfits that haven't even been seen on screen yet? I love it. I love the effort people go to. It's really, I have to say, it's really flattering for a start, but also just to see the detail and how much effort people go to. It's, um, it is a really ace feeling, actually, to, um, to look out and see loads of girls, actually. And that's what I have to say, like recently doing conventions and things like that, I've been, um, really flattered by the amount of like young girls that kind of seem to have taken to Clara and um, that's pretty nice. Why do you think Clara continues to travel with the Doctor even though it's really dangerous? Because I think once you've been through once you've looked at or had like a, t a tiny look at the possibilities of time and space like how could you ever go back? I think that's um, that's a, he's kind of opened up this uh, crack it of, of what the universe can offer and I think once you've had a taste of it it must be very hard to go back to normality and I think that's going to be a huge problem for her. A little bit addictive. Very addictive I imagine, hard to give up for yeah. sure. Hello, I am Captain Derek Latimer and I am Unit's Head of Risk Management and Workforce Safety. In this module the Doctor. During your time here, Unit, you may find that the planet is invaded by extraterrestrials. That's aliens to you normal folk. If this happens, you will be required to call the principal scientific advisor, the Doctor. That's the Doctor, not your Doctor. Important difference. Ensure you take a note of the number on your screen now. Now sometimes the Doctor may call upon Unit for help. Captain Magumbo is about to receive an important phone call. Urgent call, Mark, relayed direct from HQ. It's him, it. Mark. It's the doctor. Question. What would you do now? A. Ignore the call. B. Run away screaming. C. Take the call and notify your commanding officer. You have chosen to ignore the call. You are now a slave to a mighty alien power. All hail the great intelligence. Well done. The correct answer was C. Take the call and inform your commanding officer, just as Captain McGumbo has done. Now hold it to your pants, chaps and lady chaps. This is classified information. The Doctor is an alien. From time to time, he may change his appearance. We don't know why, we don't know how. And it's a pain trying to print all those ID cards. So to make sure you're talking with the Doctor, here are some things you can try. This blue box, don't go in. He has two hearts. If possible, place both hands on his chest to check. Unless, of course, 
he has regenerated into a woman, in that case it's probably not Cricket. He usually carries a screwdriver. It may look like a toy available for $11.99 at all good retailers, but believe me, it's not. He tends to travel with a companion, but I have been assured it is not romantic. And finally, all hell follows in Doctor's wake, so be prepared to run. And make sure you fill in your risk assessment on slips and trips whilst fleeing from alien hordes. Congratulations on completing your training. Remember that the Doctor is classified information. So if this has been leaked and you are not a member of UNIT, then forget everything you have just heard immediately. We know where you live. And if you're lucky enough to meet the man yourself, don't forget, salute. Dismissed. So what do you think? Brisket for lunch? So it's been ages since we've done Cosplay of the Week, so we thought we'd do one now. Our cosplay of the week is Tom and his sister Victoria as a TARDIS and all 13 doctors at once. See if you can spot an item from each. They're all in there. Also, we should talk about Mission Dalek. That's your chance to tell the story of how the Doctor met the Daleks at the start of Series 9. Head over to bbc.co.uk forward slash Doctor Who for details and advice. This week's annotation attack is dedicated to some of our favourite Mission Dalek submissions. Now, if you don't mind, I've got my own Mission Dalek to be getting on with. See you next time. Small human female sighted on level three. Who are you calling small? You're not even the right Dalek. Actually, probably am quite small. I'm the five inch character options figure available from all good retailers. Exterminate. Right, where's my baseball bat?